It's time for our health report and joining us now is Africa 54 health correspondent Lino Mudu with news about a potentially dangerous pregnancy complication, right? That's right, Esther. But the good news is a new test can quickly identify the common and dangerous condition during pregnancy. It is preeclampsia and help keep mothers and babies healthy and safe. VOA's Carol Pearson has more. When Jessie Przinsky was pregnant with her first child, her feet got swollen. Well, you hear everybody tells you, you know, the, the swollen ankles and, you know, get your feet up and all that. And so that was kind of where I just thought, okay. And then it started to be, kind of looks like it's in my arms and my hands too. Swelling can also be a sign of preeclampsia. Preeclampsia is a complication of pregnancy. It puts the health of both the mother and the baby at risk. It raises the mother's blood pressure and affects the blood flow to the placenta. This can lead to smaller or premature babies. Untreated, it can be fatal to mom or the baby. One of the hard parts with preeclampsia is there's a lot of symptoms of just pregnancy alone and other medical conditions that have similar symptoms that the women experience, like high blood pressure, headaches, um, changes in vision. Those can be contributed to a lot of other things. Researchers at the Ohio State Wexner Medical Center have developed a fast and easy test to diagnose preeclampsia. It is so easy to use, it's non-invasive, and it's very, um, takes very little resources to actually conduct the test. Preeclampsia is more serious if it occurs earlier in the pregnancy or in a woman who had high blood pressure before getting pregnant. It's best for both mothers and babies to manage this condition as soon as it's diagnosed. Without the certainty of this test aiding in the diagnosis, we as providers are definitely overcautious as this is definitely something we don't want to miss because of the life-threatening results of a misdiagnosis for moms and babies. Because of her preeclampsia, Przinsky was induced three weeks early. She had a successful second pregnancy and has this advice for other women. The biggest thing is listening to your body. The test is so easy, women can take it at home. That way, preeclampsia can be treated as soon as it develops. The researchers expect the test to be approved by the Food and Drug Administration in the next few years. Carol Pearson, VOA News. Preeclampsia is a serious health problem for pregnant women around the world. The World Health Organization says the condition affects 2 to 8 percent of global pregnancies. Alice Howey is a registered midwife. She further explains what is preeclampsia and how to address it. So first I'd like to start with most pregnancies, everything goes very well. In a very small percentage of women, there is a condition called preeclampsia um, that could progress to something called eclampsia. We'll get to that in a second. But in a very small percentage, it's their body is having a hard time with the pregnancy. And so this particular set of symptoms can lead to something very dangerous. And so across the world, that is one of the highest uh, maternal mortality causes. So what are the signs of preeclampsia? When I'm talking to my clients, I tell them, if you start noticing an unusual amount of swelling, that especially a swelling that happens very rapidly, not just some swelling in the ankles, but some swelling that might not be going away with rest, some swelling that might be increasing. Some other signs are a very bad headache. Sometimes people will have some blurry vision or spots, floaters in their eyes, something in their vision. Um, some women will notice some pain here in the upper right side of their belly that's specific to that. And so if you start noticing any of those signs or symptoms, seeing a provider is one of the first things that you would want to do. Is there a specific time during the pregnancy where preeclampsia will develop? The chances of having it get higher the longer the pregnancy has progressed. If it, the person is less than 20 weeks, it wouldn't be defined as that if they had high blood pressure or any of those symptoms. So it could really happen anywhere from 20 weeks on, but it is much more rare to happen earlier in the pregnancy. Are some women more predisposed to developing it? Yes, there are some risk factors. So one is if somebody has already had preeclampsia with a previous pregnancy, they may have it again. And if they've had any of those uh, symptoms of the previous pregnancy, make sure they mention it to their care provider. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, some, it is more common to happen with a first baby. It's more common to happen in the extremes of ages with pregnancy. So the very young and, and older women also have a little bit of a higher chance to have that. Um, there are some other kind of signs and symptoms, but the, but the truth is, is that anybody is at risk to have this as a potential complication. And how can this affect the baby? Anything that affects the mom has the potential to affect the baby. So a mom whose blood pressures are not well controlled, it can affect how well the baby is doing on the inside, how much blood and nutrients and all of that is going to the baby. So some babies may not grow as big as they need to. Um, and also those babies are at risk. If there is a placental abruption, it becomes a, a very serious medical emergency. And we would need to deliver that baby very quickly, regardless of how far along that mom is. So if every woman is at risk of developing preeclampsia, is there a way to prevent it? Well, we don't have anything yet that is, we have some strategies that can help reduce the risk. So nutrition is a big factor. Um, some women that have had previous preeclampsia, they may start them on a low dose aspirin during the pregnancy. And that has been shown to help to prevent some cases of preeclampsia. The reality is, is we have to take that watchful waiting and education stance to really see what's happening and make sure that people know. So when a woman comes to see you and then you diagnose her with preeclampsia, what do you do with her or for her for, to ensure that she's healthy along with her baby? So it depends on the severity because there's different levels of severity and it depends on how far along she is. If she is very premature and it is not very severe, we can uh, give some medications that can help to prevent complications and give some medications that can help mature the baby in case early delivery is necessary. If she's close to term and there's nothing that's preventing us from inducing, we might induce a labor at that point in time to help deliver because delivery is the best cure. And that's our health report for today. To stay in touch, find me on Twitter at Lenore Moudou. Esther? Thank you so much, Lenore.